Well, actually, it never happened. It never happened that the Su-30 SM actually shot down an F-35 or even tried to shut down an F-35. And I came to this conclusion after some research, and you may wonder why there is the need to do some research for something that seems pretty obvious. Well, there is a story that is bouncing around mostly on non-mainstream news sites. It's a story involving an F-35 and a Su-30, and I think it is a story worth telling. On the 9th of May 2022, an Italian F-35A was patrolling the sky above the Baltic Sea. If you wonder why there was an Italian F-35 flying above the Baltic Sea, well, I wonder too. Well, actually, no. This is, was part of the regular redeploying that NATO forces do in the Baltics, the so-called Baltic Eagle. The Italian Aeronautica Militare is part of it. And in this case, it was an element of the 32nd wing from Amendola Air Base deployed to Amari Air Base in Estonia. The pilot was scrambled to shadow a Russian Antonov-12. This was a pretty common occurrence. NATO aircraft execute air policing, identifying Russian aircraft either coming from Kaliningrad or the area around St. Petersburg. At some point, the Italian pilot, call sign Falco, noticed the malfunction of the passive electronic sensors on the F-35, so he started the procedure to reboot the system. After the procedure, when his gaze moved again from the cockpit to the external world, he was surprised to see a Soi 30 SM flying a few meters off his wing between the F-35 and the Antonov-12. The Su-35 is a previous generation multi-role aircraft in service with the Russian Air Force, but also in several other countries. It seemed to have appeared out of the blue, and in this case, it's a very adequate metaphor, without any warning from the aircraft systems. While the aircraft was there, various F-35 systems kept failing and the pilot kept rebooting them. He later realized that this was the effect of the Kibini electronic warfare system used by the Su-30SM. While the Italian was still working on his aircraft, the Su-30 executed a dangerous maneuver cutting in front of the F-35. This is rare, but not unheard of during these encounters, as the Russian pilots often test the reaction of NATO aircraft, which are usually bound by very strict procedures. The Italian pilot, after this encounter, suffered from PTSD and his flight activity was terminated. So, this is an interesting story that it may have been inspired by some true episodes, but I don't believe it is true. With the help of my friend Andrea Gaspardo, an Italian professional analyst, we did some research and the result was quite clear. The story was picked up by several outlets and there are incongruences about the way it was told. Let's start with the dates. One outlet said that it happened in May 2022. One other specified the 9th of May 2022. Others mentioned June 2021. Well, the 32nd wing exists. It is based in Amendola in Apulia, the hill of Italy. It operates the F-35 whose initial operational capability was declared in 2018. It currently operates 27 F-35A. The wing was indeed deployed in Estonia at a Mari Air Base in the context of the Baltic Eagle deployment. Problem is, it was deployed with four aircraft from April to December 2021, not 2022. And this should be enough to cast serious doubts on the episode. Italian aircraft kept operating in the area in 2022, but it was for Eurofighters from various units, either based at Amari or at Malbork in Poland. Falco was indeed a name used by the Italians during the deployment, but it was the unit call sign, not an individual nickname. I'll bet it is not impossible for an Italian pilot to choose such a name. It sounds a bit posh and over the top in Italian, but it's not out of the realm of possibilities. Moreover, as a procedure, the aircraft scramble as two ships, so it is unclear why the F-35A in the story would be flying alone. However, 
some elements of truth may indeed be present. In fact, on the 14th of May 2021, it is reported that the Italians intercepted an Antonov-12 over the Baltic Sea, and it was the first encounter of Russians and Italians. But in this case, no Sukhoi-30 or any other fighter was reported to be with the Antonov-12. In some of the articles, the facts are reported as if they were told to the journalists by the pilot, who was telling his story as if it was an interview. This seems highly unlikely, knowing by personal experience how tight-lipped are the Italian pilots about literally anything regarding their service. They risk severe criminal consequences if they don't respect the rules, even after leaving the service. Moreover, there is no trace of this episode in the Italian media, which seems strange if it really happened. And finally, what about the effect of the Kibini pod? Well, I imagine that, at such close quarters, some effect on the sensors must happen, but forcing a reboot, well, it really seems unlikely. The early F-35s do indeed have this problem due to software instabilities. There were several reports of pilots often needing to reboot some elements of the aircraft while in flight. However, today this problem seems to be largely resolved, apart from the technical refresh tree can of worms, but that's something we have already covered. I won't go into detail now. So overall, this story really doesn't seem to be true. There are just too many incongruences. We couldn't find a starting point. It is probably somewhere in the Russian media, uh, but I can't be sure. However, it is an example of how something with little grounding can grow and be amplified by this mechanism, just repeating the news without doing any real verification. It is an example of poor journalism, in my opinion, and it won't be the last. Thank you very much for watching this short video. Thank you very much for giving me your time. It's an honor and a pleasure. Thank you very much to all those who support the channel on Patreon by being a member or by one of donations. You are absolute stars. I love you all. So this is it for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.